everybody, it's Miss Nell here and today for Feel Good February I thought that we could make some cheese muffins. So what you need is two cups of flour, you need a pinch of salt, about a cup and a bit of milk, three teaspoons of baking powder, some cheese and Miss Nell is going to add some bacon because she really loves bacon. Alright, let's get started. So we will get our flour first. Two cups of flour, one, oops, and, oh, almost two, there we go, two cups of flour, fabulous. Then, we are going to do the pinch of salt next, so a little bit of salt, fabulous, and then we are going to do three tablespoons of of baking powder you must make sure that you don't put too much baking powder because if you do then sometimes they come out a bit funny so one two and three okay next I'm going to put in my cheese I you can put a cup of cheese or a little bit of extra cheese you decide Miss Nell loves cheese again so she's going to put a bit of cheese in and then, because Miss Nell is adding bacon, you don't have to add bacon, you can add anything else. You can even add some veggies to it, whatever you like. Miss Nell likes bacon, so she's going to put some bacon in that she's already cooked. Mmm, delicious. And then, the last ingredient we need is milk. Now, let me just mix it a little bit. I'm going to make a little hole in the middle. And then I said about a cup of milk. Sometimes you need a little bit of extra. But let's see how we go. So let's start with one cup. And then I'll show you what it has to look like. Oh, and this recipe is really easy because you kind of just have to throw everything together and mix it. So we're going to mix it with our spatula. Mix, mix, mix. And you see it's starting to get, uh, it's absorbed all the milk already. So we definitely need some more milk, don't we? So I'll fill up another. It's probably about maybe one and a half cups of milk. Miss Nell makes this recipe so much that she doesn't even use measurements anymore. She just mixes until it looks about ready. Okay, now this dough is going to be a bit sticky, the mixture. Okay, it's supposed to look like that. Okay, can you see it's starting to mix nicely together? You also don't want to over mix it. Okay, oh, you need to have strong muscles to do this. So that's about almost one and a half. I think I'm going to put a drop more bit of milk. And then that should do it. Let's see. Can you see it's very sticky? It's supposed to look like that. If you want to add any extra spices or anything like that, you can. And there we go. That's about ready. So next what we have to do is we have to fill our muffin pan. Now, Miss Nell is going to use big muffin pans today because she wants big muffins you can use smaller ones too I normally make smaller ones because then you get to eat more <laughs> all right so I'm going to fill some of my muffin pans and let's see how that goes you don't want to fill them too full they rise but they don't rise too much so about that should be okay so now I want some giant muffins today you fill them oh I forgot to tell you I put a little bit of butter in the bottom of my pans um, you can either do that or you can get some muffin cases and make them in the muffin cases if you don't want to try and get them out because sometimes they get a bit sticky okay so okay almost done and then I preheated my oven at about uh, 180 degrees depending on your oven sometimes you might want to put it on 200 and then they only bake for about 20 minutes but you need to keep an eye on them um, you'll know they're ready when they're golden brown and then if you just stick a little toothpick in it um, as long as there's no batter left you'll be able to take them out but I'll show you that a bit later okay I'm almost done got a little bit more mixture left so instead of making another one I'm just gonna fold these a bit I know they look a bit funny now don't they <laughs> because of the mixture okay there we go that's done easy peasy now 
Miss Mel likes to do is because she likes cheese so much. <laughs> she likes to put a little bit of cheese on the top before she puts them in the oven because then they get super golden and delicious. So we're just putting a little bit of cheese on the top. And of course, Miss Nell has already washed her hands, so make sure you do that before you make anything in the kitchen. And make sure your kitchen's clean, because you don't want anything funny going into your, your muffins. Okay, so that's about it. They're ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my timer on for 20 minutes. I'm going to pop them in the oven and then I'll come back later and I'll show you what they're supposed to look like. <gasps> oh, let's have a look. They're going to be so delicious. See you later, everybody. Bye. Hi, everybody. It's Miss Nell again. So look what's just come out of the oven. Oh, my goodness. Don't they look very good? So what we need to do is I normally take a little knife and I loosen them a bit so they're easier to come out. <gasps> Look at that. I'm going to put it on my chopping board to cool down for a bit. I've already done those, so I'm going to just take them out. Don't they look delicious? Oops. So there we are, our cheese muffins with Miss Nell's got some bacon in. Some Miss Nell's or cheese and bacon breakfast muffins. It only took 20 minutes to cook. Now, all you need to do is enjoy. I put a little bit of butter on them, or cut them. Put a bit of butter, you can put a bit more cheese on if you like, some bon roll, some marmite, whatever you like, and enjoy. Hope you've enjoyed my video, and happy baking! Bye!